they've done a good job, haven't they, Mike and Jason Shinfield with Randall Munro. It's a feel-good story. The Leicester fans here in their fluorescent yellow jackets in honour of the bin man. Well, the bin man's the boss. He wants to stop Martinez here. I think he senses that Martinez hasn't got too much Barring disaster, barring disaster. Munro's title is in safe hands. Sorry, Jim, in all the uh, excitement of the last round. I've got it even bigger than that. I've got it by five points to Munro. Oh, whips in a left cross there. Can he stop the fight here? Referee looking on closely. Martinez has to throw something back. Even in the last round, he's wilting, I think, the Spaniard here now. These are dark moments for him. Frank Maloney is inviting the referee to stop it when he would, wouldn't he, as Rendell Munro's promoter. Yeah, well, you never want these fights to go to the cards if you can help it, and there's a good chance here that they won't go to the cards. Martinez has nothing left. He's out on his feet here, Martinez, just surviving in the fight, still trying to... With his pride, throw punches back, he holds on, tries to bark by a few seconds, but all he wants now is that last foul, and to get out of here, and to go out on his shield, as they say. Well, almost a minute and a half to do that, and it doesn't look as though he has anything left. Energy or desire, there's the right hand, but nothing in the punch. Last 70 seconds. Now a question of whether Rendell Munro can stop Martinez. No one's done that yet. Left hook back there from the Spaniard. He found a punch. Exploded under the side of the jaw of Munro. But his balance is gone. No strength in his legs. So there'll be no real power in the punches. Look, he's all over the place there. He could get knocked out here, Martinez, if Munro could find the right shot. Because you're right. Those legs now have just turned to wood. So you need the balance and you need the, the, the legs to be strong to deliver the powerful shot. Doesn't look capable of it. It's been a marauding, bullying performance this by yeah. Randall Munro. There's an argument for a 10-8 round here. I probably won't score at 10 if it goes all the way. No need for it. I have Munro, a clear winner. But this has been one round completely of Rendell Munro punching. Don't push. And Rendell Munro will be dreaming after this of maybe, maybe pushing on towards a world title fight. There's no doubt about it, it's won it. Martinez does raise his arms in a token way. And there's no doubt about it at all. Rendell Munro has surely, surely retained his European Championship with something to spare in the end after a slowish start. Yes, and Alicia celebrating the fact as well. Well, Rendell, congratulations. Still European champion. You just look so big and strong and bullied him out of it in the end. Oh, that's it. All down to Nano Millions, rice and peas, chicken and dumpling. You know what I mean? Uncle Simeon's Irish moss all works. You know what I mean? Mother-in-law's cheese and potato pie. You know what I mean? Obviously, everything's going right now with the trainer here, Jason, my manager. And obviously, the big man here, Frank himself. You know what I mean? I'm going far. Trust me, I'm going far. Don't worry about it. Back work on Tuesday. So, all's well. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying it while I'm in the limelight and I'll keep enjoying it until we, until we go on to world titles. It was a dramatic start there tonight. There, Were you in any trouble at all in those first three or four rounds when he was at his most explosive? Nah, nah, nah. I'm a, I'm a man, you know what I mean? I like, to, I like to have a fight, you know what I mean? Obviously, I went out there tonight and proved that I can mix it with the big punches. So, obviously, I've gone out there, showed another style that I can fight, I can box, and I'm ready for whoever they want to bring on, you know what I mean? I ain't out here to disrespect no one in any way at all, but whoever Mike and Jason and, and Frank were in front of me, I'm willing to fight. Now, Victor Cordoba and Bernard Dunn are fighting quite soon for the for the WBA title. You want to fight the winner of that? If that's what they've got in plan, then that's what I'll fight. You know what I mean? Like I've always said, I'm a man who likes to be in the gym training, 
Frank does all, all the promoting, Mike does the managing, Jason does the training. I just fight whoever they tell me to fight, and that's how it goes. Yours is a remarkable story. You'll be back on the bins on Tuesday, will you? Or are you going to give that up now and become a no, full-time no, fighter? No, no, I'm back there on Tuesday, so everyone be coming out with your treats for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got to put a bit of weight back on, you know what I mean? All the cakes and that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, enjoy I'm, I'm enjoying it, you know what I mean? Look, obviously, I'm always going to stick to the working class hero. And obviously, like I've always said, that I'm a normal guy outside of the ring, two-tone in the ring. I'm your local bin man outside of it. Well done, a working-class hero indeed. Well done, Brendel. Good stuff.